Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. This video was supposed to be published some time back and I had plans to make two vlogs out of it but had to club it to one vlog. My younger brother and sister-in-law are blessed with a baby girl. So there's a new little member in our family now. Thanks to the Almighty for all the blessings. The new mommy and baby are keeping in good health. I think I had put a video last Ramadan where I prepared a sweet snack for my co-sister Sabina when she was pregnant. And I had mentioned that we do have a tradition of preparing something special for the pregnant women in the family when they are in their final trimester of their pregnancy journey. Similarly, I had prepared for Chinu. This time not a sweet, but a savory one, chicken roll. And I had asked my helping sister at home to cook what we call neyapam. So a sweet and a spicy. Chinu was in her ninth month at this time and she was with her parents. So we, along with my parents, went to their house around at 3 in the evening. Quickly prepared lunch and I started for the snack preparation. This time prepared chicken roll in a much easier way. The other way is to dip each bread slice in milk, add the filling in the center and then roll the bread. So let me show you how I did it this time. You may also prepare the same with beef or mutton or even fish if you like so. I cooked chicken in a pressure cooker, adding some ready-made chicken masala. Cooked for three whistles. In a kadai, heat some ghee. You may use oil too or even a mix of both. Saute sliced onion. The chicken is fully cooked now. Took out the pieces into another bowl. Meanwhile, the onion is soft and translucent. I didn't want to throw away the stock left after cooking the chicken, so poured that to the onion to add flavor. Remove the bones from the chicken. Crush the chicken by pulsing few times. You may shred it as well. I didn't have enough time for that, so use the blender. Add the chicken pieces to the onion and mix well. Chop in few coriander leaves. Check the taste and add more spices if needed. The ready-made chicken masala will be having enough. In case it's less, do adjust accordingly. I added salt, black pepper powder and some garam masala powder. I had already cooked some potatoes in the steamer. Mash that using a fork and add it to the chicken masala. Now use fresh bread to make some crumbs. If you don't have fresh and want to use dried one, you may add even that. Then add some cheese. Here I am grating some mozzarella cheese. Add enough for extra taste. Mix everything really well. When you roll a small amount, you will have to get it in shape. If you feel the texture is not right, Add more breadcrumbs, but not too much that the taste of bread pops out. The other snack is getting ready over to the other side. 
To coat the rolls, you will need all-purpose flour or maida, beaten eggs and more breadcrumbs. Spread some oil to roll so that it doesn't stick to your hands. Take a small amount. You may use 1 8 or 1 4 measuring cup to take equal quantity or a lemon size would be enough. Roll. Now coat in maida first. Then in the egg. And last, roll in the breadcrumbs. And there you get it. You may store this in the freezer just like how we store cutlets. It can be stored for maximum 3 weeks. Deep fry the snacks in oil until they turn golden brown in color. Make sure the flame is medium high, not low or not very high. My brother was at the clinic, so we went to my parents' house to pick my parents. And that's four pieces I packed for them to have a taste. And there we are at my parents' house. My mother had already prepared another snack for Chino. Those Chino. I think I haven't spoken about Chinu much in any of my vlogs. Her father is the youngest in their family, so they stay in their ancestral home. Chinu's parents are teachers at government school in Kerala. She has three siblings. Elder sister is a dentist. Elder brother is an Ayurvedic doctor. Then Chinu, who is again a dentist. She has a younger brother doing his medicine. So all the children in their family are in the medical field. And the day came when it was time for the baby to arrive. It took almost a day so we had to wait for some time. 
as soon as the good news arrived we got out to meet the new member It's a bit scary to hold a tiny delicate piece of life but the way it cuddles in our arms is worth every second to watch the moments My brother wanted me to accompany him for a bit of baby shopping. Chinu had already done that earlier. There were few more left as her date was 10 days later. So I joined my brother to a nearby shop for some purchases. So that's all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. If so, do give a thumbs up so that I know. And do try the recipes shown. Stay safe everyone. Exciting vlogs are coming up. Stay tuned. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.